A summer's day in Scarabray became a wintry night. Welcome to a new Let's Play, Bard's Tale 4, the ba director's cut. <laughs> no, it's actually called some, probably something else. The Barrow's Deep, or what was it? Let me quickly check. This is on the other uh, non director's cut. Yeah, The Barrow's Deep. I have never played this game before. I have not even clicked a new game uh, ever, ever before, so I have no idea what to look uh, forward to. The original Burrows Deep came out in 2018. This is the director's cut from 2019, so the year after. Apparently this has a lot of balance fixes as, as the other one had multiple, multiple game issues. Uh, let's see, I, the only thing I went was through the options. English, borderless. You go, oh, you can go with Polish, nice. Desync, field of view, overall, ultra settings, yeah, that, that, that was by default setup. And fought from dawn uh, to dawn. Amb ambience. Let me put it a bit louder. I will eventually correct it in post, uh, post the, the, the recordings. Picker mode stereo, yeah, I have only two zero. Uh, ba -ba -bum, apply, gameplay, camera, wow. Controls, I won't even go through here just yet, maybe later. So I have once again no idea, I've never seen a minute of gameplay of this, I only saw maybe two screenshots. They mentioned that this game was developed and published by Inxile Entertainment, but if you've seen my previous playthroughs of Bar Tale, um, Bar Tale 1, 2, 3, then yeah, it was done by the same guys. New game! Combat style! Nursery Rhyme. Enemies are weaker and deal less damage. This is a good setting if you're new to a strategy games or those who don't want a challenge in combat. Wait, what strategy game? Normal. This is recommended difficulty setting for first time players. Hard? Wait, why? What? Oh, it show, showed me the difficulty for. Uh, for, for, the, for the slider. Recommended for first time players. Hard enemies hit harder and have higher defenses. Legendary enemies deal very high damage and are much harder to kill. I'll be going on normal. Save anywhere, that's fine. Because we are let's playing, so I need to be able to save anywhere. Plus, I love to save Ska. So, yeah, I, I usually save every few steps everywhere. And if this game is similar to how the previous games were. Um, a lot of traps, a lot of anti-magic zones, etc, etc, et which made the gaming actually kind of a bad experience. Um, so I, I'd prefer to to be able to save anywhere. Auto-resurrect. Revives party members after the combat is complete. This is intended way to play Bard's Tale 4. For an extra challenge, you can turn this feature off. In which case, incap incapacitated party members are only revived when you bind to or consume a lock stone. Yeah, let's um, let's not. Permadeath. Caution: Turning this mode on causes your save save file to be deleted if, you, if your entire party is ever incapacitated. This setting cannot be changed after you begun your new game. Show enemies on map. Sure. Oh, wait. Ah, it also adjusts the other settings. So, Tavern Song it is. I want to be able to complete it in. <sighs> Let's hope for 20 videos. Control scheme, mouse and keyboard, movement mode, free move, skippable puzzles off. Toggle on off the song Struggler's Lament, which will open most doors that are locked by puzzles. Now we will be puzzling out mapping, yes, many map. Yes, show waypoints, no. Wait, grid movement? Free move, move and look around the world freely as you would in any modern first-person game. Grid move, step through the world on a movement grid. 
a throwback for classic Bar Tales fans. Oh, it's in the 80s style. Okay. Got the mapping, hot only, what? Only. Yeah, we'll be as designed with grid based. Enter a name for your new game slot. Let's play slot. Ooh, FMV. <laughs> the song I sing will tell the tale of a cold and wintry day, of castle walls and torchlit halls, and a price men had to pay. When evil fled and brave men bled, the dark one came to stay. Tell men of old for blood and gold had rescued a scarabre. His fingers were not moving, but the music was still playing. What a cheat game this is! Real pity, friends, when you look upon these wretches. Well, wash it from your hearts. For these are the villains who seek to turn Scarabre into a pit of depravity. of the dark arts. Enemies all whose wicked lives must end if our city is to live in peace again. Oh, that's what you get, you heathen. Thus, children, shall the sword father smite all who befriend the old races. Well, they did keep, keep them hanging for... Wow. What the? He shall burn the... the movement is kind of bad. Well, no, not bad. I can move diagonally. That's that's not the experience I was looking for. And I, wow, I can move with mouse. Okay. This will feel very weird. I need to turn uh, turn down the settings because it's slightly laggy. Uh, graphics. Let's switch to medium. Okay. I guess. Ew. Hi. Well, I wouldn't mention it to anyone else. Okay, speak to Rabbi. Where's Rabbi? Are you Rabbi? 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 You Rabbi? You know, you're not Rabbi. the sword father smites all who befriend the old race. You Rabbi? You know Rabbi. Maybe we need to follow the symbol. It's actually bad because I don't know if I can go close to him. And if I move sideways when I'm diagonally looking, I will move sideways. Diagonally side sideways. Okay. Oh, you've got a thing over your head. You're Rabbi. Oh, that's a bad business. And no mistake. I... I don't understand. What did they do? What was their crime? This, this voice actor for a melody. Uh, I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of one of the characters from Might and Magic 10. Which I have a very bad flashback right now. Their crime? Existing was their crime. The Fatherites don't like our kind. Come on, before those paladins give us a second glance. I'll give them a second glance. And maybe a... <laughs> this reminds me of one of the memes. I'll give them a second glance. Maybe a... What will Citizen give a second glance to? Oh, here now. Save it. You'll only get yourself killed. And we need you. You're gonna save Scarabre. <laughs> Ah, you're looking at me like you think old Robbie's had a few too many. Well, maybe I have. But this is no drunkard's fancy. You've been in my dreams seven nights now, and each one with the same end. You the hero, and me lost. 
They all start with some evil slithering out of the darkness, and you driving it back from whence it came. But I don't make it to the happy ever after. And there's a moment right at the end where you could save me, and instead you choose not to. You just turn away and leave me to be buried alive. Well, maybe that means I shouldn't trust you. But you're the best hope we've got. So I guess I'll just have to pray that part's not true. Anyway, hero, let's get back to the Adventurer's Guild. I have a few words to say to the congregation. This way... You're the party, one of three. Rabbi, the leader of the Adventurer's Guild, has temporarily joined your, your party. While in combat, Rabbi can attack with his axe and Shilela. As well as a, as hand out health potions to his allies. Your party two of three. This is Melody, the bard. She's your very first adventurer. You'll be able to replace her with a custom character shortly if you like. She can attack with a hatchet, gain powers by drinking booze. <laughs> ah, the drunken kung fu master. And play sanctuary score to shield her allies. You can bring up the party bar at any time by right clicking. Cool. Woo! Inventory. Option journal. Oh, I don't need to hold it. <laughs> skill tree. Skill points. Three. Welcome to your skill tree. Each time you level up, you earn a skill point, which can be spent to unlock a new skill. Click here to swap between the different skill trees of your adventurer's archetype. Example, attack, defense, utility. Your skill tree is broken into three tiers. To unlock the second tier of, of your uh, of skills, you must spend eight skill points. To unlock the third tier, you must spend a total of 16. The first time you unlock a tier, you'll have to travel to the Adventurer's Guild to be judged worthy of advancement by the review board. So we need to level up at the Advent uh, Adventurer's Guild. Huh. I wonder if we get skills in uh, a total skill points or attacks, kills, defense kills. Oh, wow. We are, we are a part that will be able to actually brew stuff. Hey, the guy is also a bard. Huh. Anywho. You can't swing a cat in Scarabray these days without hitting a paladin. Not that I'm prone to swinging cats. <laughs> uh, water. Drink water free. The entire party gains three cons constitution. Okay, I'm actually surprised. What a load of shite. Always a few who will take advantage of hard times. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that we are actually destroying the barrels here, the containers. Because we are. The local civilians, there are plenty of guards that um, will s sentence us to death by just looking at them. This also gives a lot of... Wait, I saw some... Oh, it's, it's their uh, speeches. So honestly, this is kind of risky to be destroying barrels left and right. Ooh, what's this? Hey, yeah. Soup! Gimme! Ha ha! Yourself! Come here for soup, have you? Well, soup is not an adequate description for what you'll be getting. You'll be getting fulfillment, joy, the tender embrace of your mother's arms. This is not just soup, it is a revelation, a liquid epiphany. Heaven by the spoonful. There is no question that this soup is good enough for you. The question you have to ask yourself is, am I good enough for this soup? This should be the text I, uh, I, I, I should be uh, talking today, throughout the day. Because for the first time in, in many, many months, I, I've actually made a, a, a soup, <laughs> a tomato soup. So, yeah. And of course, my, my soup is the best, right? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, my wife got back from, from, from war again. Hey, would you like some soup? You you say you what? Yep, soup. <laughs> the 
This is not soup, it is a revelation. Indeed. Uh, no. On consideration, you are not good enough for this soup. Oh, let me slap him. Ruffians. <laughs> Ruffians. Uh, we are from the Adventurer's Guild. We are not Ruffians, I think. Options. Gameplay. Grid move. Effects. It's only the ground decal hiding the floating icons. Okay. Uh, game difficulty. I can change it at any moment. Head bob. Grid move. Okay. If anything, I will definitely try out uh, the without the grid move once I actually learn uh, how the game plays. Enable strugglers lament. Ah. Ah, I can uh, enable it at any moment. Oh, there's also a code. Co redeem your secret code here. I need to look the, the, those uh, those up. Some of them are nifty. Some of them ooh, herbs. Some of them are uh, just visuals. Arms for your buddy arms. Are you the soup guy? Or the soup guy? It might be slightly confusing when I'm moving that and, and then I move directly. Adventurous save this town. Round him up! Oh, I've known elves, dwarves and trolls. Finest people of our Oh, it's you. Is it? Yeah, the lips sink is... is not sinking. Plus it gets louder the further I get. Unless it's my speaker setup. <laughs> Seems like okay. they hanged my shoemaker last week. He must have done something wrong. <laughs> the temple knows what it's doing. They hanged him by the shoelaces. Can I drop down? I wanna go on a quest. So let me kill something. More herbs. More herbs. Okay, I see another problem with movement. If I look slightly off, and I see well, the green um, uh, floor tile means that's where I will move when I move forward. So if I'm looking slightly off, the camera flips straight on. Can I change that? Reset position after combat? No. Quest waypoints, rotating minimap? Yeah. Maybe? I don't know yet. Controls. Grid movement. Control hot, map quest. No, 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 no. I don't see it. I would want to not reset position, camera position on movement or rotation. Oh, books. Gimme. Over your grave. The music seems loud. Hey, buddy. Farmer Killip. Carrots. Potatoes. Hi. Excuse me. Carrots and uh, potatoes. Carrots, carrots and potatoes. Are you okay? Cabbage. Carrots. <laughs> potatoes. Cabbage. Carrots. Potatoes, cabbage, carrots, and uh, potatoes. Potatoes. Aye. Aye. This neighborhood welcomes all races protected by the Adventurer's Guild. Yeah, too bad that they didn't help the other one. Wow. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. This is so bad. Ew, gimme. It sparkled so much, but just for a coin. It sparks even on empty. But I do already enjoy uh, the movement, the exploration. They, you, Probably the developers hit quite a lot of uh, nifty things in, uh, in such corridors. Read Fatherite. 
further right, follow, follow her right. No, further right, notice. Further right, notice and edicts. Be it known that the Temple of the Sword Father seeks the adventurer Hnafe Oakmore for the questioning in connection with necromancy and possession of forbidden texts. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is instructed to report to the temple immediately by order of Bishop Henried. Henred. Red? Henried? Okay. Let me. F the guild. Okay. Now, important thing. Oh, I get uh, all of the notes here. Nice. What's not nice is you cannot uh, scroll over to see what kind of <coughs> NPC it is. What's his name, etc. I get quests. Plus, I'm not able to drop down any map notes. So it's kind of kind of so-so. Not that I ever dropped any uh, map notes. I would like just to be able to. Ah, the, the sea, the blurry view of the sea. It's terrible. Poor Rebby. Eh, is it terrible, actually? I'm curious. Since we're experimenting already. Ah, uh, did it become better? I think it's the... what's what's foliage? I have no idea. Temporal AA, no. Um, ambient occlusion, motion blur. Uh, yeah, play changes. Return. <laughs> Honestly, for a game for 2018, I would expect more. Maybe because it's a so-called dungeon crawler. Um, ba -ba -ba. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Who are you? This is the adventurer's skill. Can I look for some extra goodies here before I... Mice! Catch them! Not possible. Alright, let's check out the adventurer's guild. Continue to the... Oh. Killed last night. Some great beast, they said. And again, they blame us for it. What I just saw at Hendred's Hanging Tree was the last straw. We have to... Did, did you hear that? The Song of the Maiden. What does it foretell this time? Arrest the heretics! Burn this dead of evil to the ground! This way, hero! Hurry! Well, so much for recruiting new members. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to create a custom character or keep Melody as your starting character? Honestly, I don't know. What's a character creation? Oh. I wonder if I can cancel out of it at any time. But I feel like starting with a... Say what? As you can hear, this leaves me speechless. Honestly, I'm scared to click fighter or rogue. So much flashiness. Please no flashy. <laughs> oh nice. This is this is a nice touch that the, the character hides be, be behind the text. Alright. Bards use spell points to tell stories so grand that they carry mystic properties along with them, imbuing the listener with the essence of the song. Bards provide powerful buffs and debuffs to your party. Though can be a serviceable combatant in a pinch, Bards gain their power through good humor and a wet whistle, meaning they gain spell points and, and bonuses from drinking on the job. Best job ever. 
Practitioners are master manipulators of magic. They excel at generating spell points and using them to unleash powerful spells to great effect. Practitioners can summon powerful monsters or assault crowds of enemies with ghosts of fire, bolts of lightning and psychic maelstroms. Among practitioners, there are several established disciplines – conjurers, magicians, sorcerers, wizards and arc mages. Fighters may be brutish berserkers who fling themselves headlong in the battle and use their generally superior stats carry them through the fight, or they may be more tactical fighters who can duel with an opponent and come out unscathed. Either way, fighters belong at the front of your group, trading blows with the with enemies and protecting your more fragile characters, while con conversely being supported by those they protect. Rogues excel at deception, misdirection and finding the perfect opportunity to circumvent enemy defenses and last devastating killing blows on the key targets. Rogues are also cl a clever bunch, lending a help helping hand when disarming traps or negotiating with merchants. Rogues have the unique ability to conceal your party, making it easier to avoid, uh, to avoid or ambush enemies. Nice, this might be helpful, but not for a start. These are just your default class abilities and starting stats. In the next step, you'll be able to further customize your character's stats and starting abilities. I'm so tempted to go between practitioner and a fighter. The other two seem like they could uh, join the party at a slightly later uh, moment. Yeah, let's go with the brute fighter. Chop and taunt. Culture. Ah, bait. Human. Uh, okay, so those are hum human-ish races. Badish studies. The Bait people are well educated and clever. They gain one bone skill at level 3, 10, and 18. Einar. These tall, powerful people have a legendary ability to hold a grudge. Each time they strike in combat, they gain plus one strength for the remainder of the fight. This is cool. Ficti. The Ficti are fiercely protective of their friends and family and will give their life for them if need be. Once per battle, a Ficti will absorb damage from an ally that would otherwise kill them. Outlander may come from a variety of cultures, but they do all share a common struggle. The trials they faced in coming to Scarabray have made them hardy and unflappable. <laughs> Sorry, weird, weird words. Sounds funny. They're immune to poison, fire, and bleeding. All right, that's cool. Dwarf. Dwarves are a stubborn and sturdy people who are almost supernaturally tenacious. Dwarves cannot be stunned, rooted, or forcibly moved. Elves are a well educated race with innate magical abilities. Elves have plus 30% intelligence and plus one maximum spell point. Plus one maximum spell points. I'd understand plus one per level, but plus one doesn't make sense. Trow. Don't mistake with drow. No, tr this is trow. Sorry, trow. Excuse me. Ever the opportunists. The trows, trows party gains one opportunity when they land a killing blow. This may happen only once per turn. Yeah, I'm definitely going with a dwarf. Come on, fight! One who try me. How can you prevail when we have right on our side? Who wants a piece of me? I'll take you all on. Why are you even trying? This one doesn't even look so sturdy. Why are you even trying? Come forward and you have. Watch out, or I'll hurt you. This Innocent, volatile. Why are you being so awful? Come Back. on, fight! Come on. It hurts me just to look at you. If you, you have no... Why do you do you I could go with sto Stoic, but let's, let's go with Volatile. On, yeah, we get Character name, Redbeard. Is there any actual Redbeards here? No. Volatile, Brujo. Can I get different names? Is that your face? Redbeard. Let's, let's go with Redbeard. I, I will not be giving them random names, because I don't even know how many characters there will be. Skills. 
We've got three skill points. Basic combat. Okay, I have a basic combat already. Sweeping slash. Deal three physical to all target enemies. Okay. Deal two physical to first enemy in range and remove armor. No. One physical to first name to first enemy in range. Hit two times. Channel. Deal, deal for a physical to first enemy in range. Battle ready. Deal of three mental to first enemy in range. No. Critical hit swords. Critical hit axes. Critical hit bludgeons. What about defense? We've got basic defense. Critical block shields. Shield novice. Light armor. Light armor. Medium armor. Where's heavy? Oh. Ah. So I could start with one, two, three. Or from the basic defense, I can go into. I need to go into light and then into medium and then into heavy. Oh. Some titles even. Constitution. What's in the command section? Champion, commander. Sense of purpose. Actually, I'm looking at this and I really don't know if those are. If that's uh, somebody's butt or if. Or the front part, or, or I mean, boobs, under boobs, or whatever. It looks weird. Meh. <laughs> Sense of purpose, I guess. Uh, intelligence, one, two. Uh, code of honor, can I equip battle standard? Okay. Co code of chival chivalry. Deal 25% damage versus targets that are fixated on you. Loyalty of the cause. The first lethal blow suffered in combat. Instead, reduces the fighter constitution to one. Okay. And crafting. Science. Alchemic. Huh. I definitely want to have a... This will be a tank. No... So... Um... Let's go with Swordsman. Ah, this is the indicator on how many more skill points unlock the next one. So, if it's a tank... It will have a shield, and I would like it to have a, an armor. Finalize. Why? I don't get it, honestly. I know that I'm a fighter. Maybe because I'm a, a dwarf, I got a, a rusty hatchet. Um, maybe any other class would give me... A sword, but this is kind of annoying. I picked a skill for swords and the game is giving me a hatchet. Dwarves are a stubborn and sturdy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish. Are you sure you want to continue? We will not be able to make any further changes to this character's archetype, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, let's finish. Sword is my favorite S word. Create a fighter as, you, as your starting character achievement. Puzzle weapons are powerful elven traits that get stronger with something something. Scarabray below. Let's see if we can at least get a single encounter. Oh, he's with me. Okay. It's an ultra, right? Texture, effects, quality, custom, texture, quality, ultra. Apply. Yeah, it's it looks pretty nice here. Give me an encounter. Also, this this isn't a grid. This is definitely, well, maybe this is a grid, but not like 90%, so I don't see a reason why I should be running in a grid mode. Come on, give me an encounter. Yeah, like a very short step. Open. The Adventurer's Guild from back before the old town was buried is still here after all these years. Just a little filthy liable to collapse. At least it's well hidden. No danger of another visit from the Fatherlands. 
Yeah, reliable to collapse is not a good. Green door. That's totally green. Hello? Any green doors here? Oh. Gained further right notice. Do not enter. By the order of the temple, this property is condemned. Disease, corruption, or abom abominations may be found within. Do not enter. Open up. Sounds like fun. Oh. Uh, disappointed. Okay. Uh, what's this? Hello? Blue Highway. I see the, where the indicator is. I wanted to look around. For the herbs. Hello. Push. Yeah, collapse. The, the thing doesn't want it to collapse. That's the problem. Right? Ooh, I saw that. Ignite? Huh? Ooh! Carrots! Okay, that's where I came from, but is there anything else here? No. Okay, so let's take a look. That is bright. I wonder how they get the illumination here. Ah, sunlight, okay. But why do we have a moonlight and sunlight at the same time? It must be a magical place. Hold on, hero. You'd better touch that lock stone. Lock stones have been around since before the All War. And it's always good to give them a rub, particularly before a fight. They can give you a second chance if things go wrong. <laughs> give them a rub. I see sparkly things here first. What's a lock stone? Is this a lock stone? Save game. Now you're safe. No matter what befalls, you'll come right back to here. No idea what that is. The game will probably eventually explain. We can push this one. So there's probably something blocking the other thing. Celestial Offering. You have discovered a Celestial Offering Altar. These statues reward powerful items if you offer the right objects. However, they are not required to complete your adventure. To figure out which items to offer, you, you, will, need to, you will need the Celestial Code Wheel and an Adventurer's Celestial Almanac. The Code Wheel can be found by visiting the website. Uh, the Almanac is located inside the Adventurer's Guild. Okay, I'll look it up in between videos, maybe, if I will not forget. Wait a moment. Don't think these are any friends of ours. No, they're up to mischief. We'll have to fight them, I fear. You fear what? Group, power zero. Ooh, loot. Look out! An enemy! Charge enemies before they spot you to get first strike. If they spot you first, they'll get the first turn. Okay. No, no, I'm I'm looting here. Yay, coin! First strike! Get all dead. You get me. Your turn. Combat in Barstail is turn-based. You have three opportunities, point 
opportunity points to spend each turn. This number will increase as you progress. Your adventurers have abilities that cause opportunity to activate. The only, the only way to recover opportunity after it is spent is to enter your, your turn. I've seen this somewhere recently. I can't... Put, I don't really recall where. So how far are we from the enemy? Because I cannot tell. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe there's eight tiles here and this is the front row and this will be the back row. That's why we are able already cause fixated on target enemy and pull them towards you we don't know if anyone's fixated on anyone die, chop it should hit both of them oh to first enemy in range stance battle ready gain two armor for one turn it costs one this one also costs one deal two f physical to first enemy in range move yeah okay Okay. Heal three physical damage. I killed one of them. <laughs> and battle stance. Okay, and no other attack options. You've used your opportunity and you have no spell points left to spend. Okay. Pretty simple. I should probably attack the, this guy first. The armor wore off. Oh, the guy is not attacking. Interesting. Ah, in the bottom right corner, here, right above the shoe icon, we can see how quickly will the ability recharge. Interesting. So this one takes one turn, this one takes two turns. Uh, Ah, so he will now attack me. <laughs> I'm gonna hide. What could possibly go wrong? Can I attack? I cannot attack from the background, of course. So I'll just move back here. This guy showed zero hit points before I managed to attack him. Okay. Kill for the masters. What masters I wonder. Open enemy loot. Six coin. Gained cutthroat dragon's bile bomb. Ew. Well, it is a bomb bomb shaped, right? Okay. 62 coin, we are freaking rich. Ah, okay, but... Probably I need the other, uh, the bomb to use there. But let's head back. It's here. Map shows me something. What is this? A green thingy. Is that a, that's not a grappling hook. Doesn't look... Ah, oh, I can zoom in. Oh, a level load. Okay. Ah, oh, so maybe there's an alternate entrance here. That's the, the other thing. Let's go back here, because this will also heal us. And with this, I guess I can call it an episode here. This was a slightly longer for, for a start, but at least we, we saw how the combat looks like. Uh, and the next, I will probably try to switch to the free movement. As I said, this feels really weird. So I'm curious on how that will work. For now, that's all. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you are looking forward to, uh, to more of this. As I said, this will be a completely blind playthrough. And I'll also try to remember to, to check the, uh, the candelabra or whatever the, the thing was. So until next video. Take care.